So this Pokemon story time is gonna be a story about one of my first, I guess you could say, not really a heartbreak, but a, a little shot to the heart, if you will. A little tiny shot to the heart. It's just a tiny because it kind of hurt really bad, but it's all good. So let's hop right into the story. So I'm gonna say I'm 19 or 20 years old. We are down port, which is basically a place in New York where there's uh, restaurants, bars, uh, it's on the water. It's a nice little place. It's a nice little uh, get up you got going on in down port. So we're getting a little hungry and we walk into this pizza parlor or pizza place. I don't know. Is it really a parlor? I don't know. We walk into a pizza place. We want to get pizza because me and my boys are hungry. And um, they have really good pizza here, especially their buffalo chicken pizza. Very freaking good pizza they got in this place. So we walk in and lo and behold, Nips here lays his eyes on a fine lady. And uh, we're going to call this fine lady. What name are we going to give her? We're going to call the fine lady. Um, does, it, does it matter if I use her real name or not? I don't know. Uh, let's just call her Annabelle. We got freaking Annabelle chilling behind the counter right now. Now, Annabelle is a nice Spanish looking girl. Uh, very good looking. And caught my eye immediately. So, order my pizza. Do my thing. And we actually start talking. Now for me, this is a first. This has not happened often to me, friends. This has not been often at all. I got this good looking girl talking to me. I don't know if she's talking to me to like just because she's bored or if she's actually like kind of uh attracted to me as well. I don't know what's going on. So I'm trying to feel it out, play it out, see what's going down. So um we start talking for a bit, blah blah blah, I get my pizza, do our thing, and we eat, talk a bit more, and we leave. Didn't get a number, it's all good. But guess what, friends? Guess freaking what? My friend Jess, the pregnant girl from my other story, if you guys didn't see that, you check it out, that story, um, is actually her friend in real life. So, what's going down? She hits me up one night, I think Jess hits me up one night, saying, yo, we're going to Applebee's, come through. And uh, I'm like, alright, let's do it, boom. Go to Applebee's, I show up, Jess is there with Annabelle, and I'm there now. I'm like, oh. This girl's here. I'm, I'm like confused, surprised, and happy at the same time. And uh, I get the confirmation from Jess that this girl kind of likes me, or is, is attracted to me. Like, oh, this is freaking awesome. So we sit across from each other, we're talking a little bit, doing our thing. And every time I would stop talking, Jess would kick me to keep the conversation going. <laughs> it was kind of funny the way she would do it. But um, anyway, so I'm talking to this girl, yada, yada, yada. It's pretty nice. It's pretty nice. Eventually, we exchange numbers. And, uh, we start talking on our own free time. So, uh, I don't know how much time goes by, but essentially, we get to the point where I ask her to go on a date. And, uh, she tells me, what's she telling me? She tells me, uh, the first time around, she tells me, yeah, let's do it, blah, 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 awesome, blah, blah, blah. I'm gonna bring her ice skating, we're gonna go out to eat, it's gonna be a fun time, because she always wanted to go ice skating. Like, perfect, I play goalie, I play hockey my whole entire life. It's a perfect first date for me, so it's freaking awesome. So, the day of it ends up getting cancelled, yada yada yada, gargle gargle gargle, I'm not happy, it is what it is. We're still talking, what can you do, we're just talking as friends, and um, basically, she stops talking to me for whatever reason, and I'm a little confused, I'm like, whatever, it is what it is. And then, uh, some more time goes by, and she texts me out of nowhere, she's like, I'm so sorry, uh, I'm an idiot, I gave my ex-boyfriend a chance again, yada yada yada. I should have given you a chance. I'm sorry. Let's do something. I'm like, all right, cool. That's freaking awesome. Let's do this. And um, so we set up a date. We're going to do our thing. And it's going to be uh, the same thing. Basically, go ice skating and whatnot. And uh, just hang out and have a good time. So the day comes again. The day comes again. And um, I'm getting ready to go like figure out where she lives and whatnot. Go pick her up, do her thing. And she is like, wishy-washy about I'm like, yo, what's going on? Is this going to happen again? Is this really going to happen again? Because I'm not going to be a happy camper. And uh, Annabelle's all like, uh, blah, blah, blah. Can't hang out. Whatever. I'm like, wow. Messed up. I'm not feeling good at all. I'm upset. I'm mad. I'm salt. And uh, that's that. So, uh, I end up um, not talking to her for a while again. Me and Annabelle are basically not talking at all anymore. And, uh, I forgot how it came to be, but we start talking again, 
and she wants to give me another chance. And idiot Nips is like, yeah, it's good. And of course, um, it falls through. And I see her like a couple days later at the pizza parlor where she's where she's working. And I walk in. I'm not gonna be. I'm not. I'm not gonna be an asshole about her or anything. I'm just gonna be like talking normal. We're still gonna be like friendly little chit chat. I'm not gonna be like, oh my god, you. I'm just gonna be a normal human being about it. Be the bigger man, stand tall, and do my thing. But folks, this is what triggered me. This is what triggered me to the max, my friends. I walk in. I see her, I go to talk to her, and, uh, I, I wanted to ask, like, yo, how about we actually get this hangout thing down pat so we could actually do this? And, uh, whatever, whatever, whatever we follow after that. And as I go up to her to talk to her, she has an engagement ring on her finger. And I'm like, oh, um... I thought you told me you were done with your ex-boyfriend because he was being... I'm not going to say the details, but she, he was just not being a good guy. And I walk in, I see this engagement ring on her finger, and I'm like, this chick just got engaged on me. I'm trying to... I'm like, what? This just blew my mind. I'm salt. I'm not happy. And I don't even know how to react at this point. I'm like, I'm trying to talk to this girl. She keeps trying to give me other ch chance on chance on chance. And she's all like, and all like, yeah, I'm in, I like you, blah, 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 let's hang out, blah, blah, blah. And she ends up moving to, like, the freaking city or Queens or something like that with her boyfriend. She lives with him now, going to school. I don't know what the hell it was. It was, like, five years ago at this point. And I'm just like, dude, what the heck? Typical nips luck with the ladies. What can you do? I was not a happy camper. And I think rightfully so, friends. I think rightfully so. If a girl's going to tell you they have interest in you, to say they're gonna do away with their ex, and the next thing you know, they have an engagement ring on their finger with the same said ex that you said was bad to you, and all these other things, and you're gonna give Nips a chance over here, but you don't, and you get engaged on me. Oh man, friends, I was, I was, I was at a loss for words. I was at a loss for words, and as you guys can probably tell, we don't talk at all. We haven't spoken. Do not care. To speak, uh, I don't even want to speak to her. Like, it really matters. She's um, in her own little world now. It is what it is. So, that's my little story time for this week, folks. Like I said, not really a humorous story, but it was a little, uh, little bit of a serious talk right there. So, as always, guys, I'm Nips. Hope you enjoyed this story. I'll catch you guys later. Have a great day, and I'll see you soon.